But I'm going to start with an article or an event that I came across yesterday. I think this was sent to me. I forget who this was sent to me by. And, and guys, forgive me if I'm not giving you shout outs. Again, I got a lot of moving parts once I get things up and running. And once I get used to these things happening all around me, I'll be able to you know pay attention to who sent this to me. But let me go ahead and pull up the article for you guys. And, and again, for those of you, you know, listening on the replay, I'll try and be as descriptive as I can. So the article is once again on the website called Rolling Out. <laughs> a lot of good, listen, a lot of, uh, a lot of content on the, uh, on the Rolling Out website, rollingout.com. Seven indicted in HBCU prostitution ring involving the AKA sorority. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with the term HBCU, HBCU means historically black college or university. The AKA sorority is the Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority. It is my understanding that it is a black female uh, female sorority. Um, I think the AKAs are sort of the quasi-sister sorority to the Q-Dogs, Omega uh, Omega Phi Psi or Omega Psi Phi. I'm not familiar with that. But if you're a Q-Dog, obviously, obviously, uh, I guess you're supposed to be the shit. If you're a Q-Dog at an HBCU, if you're an AKA, you're supposed to be the hottest, baddest bitches around, et cetera, et cetera. The Q-Dogs basically fuck the AKAs, although the AKAs wouldn't, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't really admit to that. You see, listen, you see black women all the time driving around with their AKA license plates. And I always think to myself, bitch, like you were in college like 30 years ago. Let go of that shit. Say, listen, same with dudes that are in Q-Dogs, right? Like, okay, I get that you're a Q-Dog and you're this, that, and the other, but bruh, you're 45, you're 57 pounds overweight, you got three kids, two of them you don't have custody of because your first wife divorce raped you. You being a Q-Dog doesn't really hold any weight. People wearing fraternity and sorority pins into, <laughs> into job interviews as if by some off chance, the guy interviewing you might have just been in a fraternity. Anyway... Real short article, I'm going to read this to you here. Several people, it says, are facing jail time due to a scandal that rocked Fort Valley State University. According to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, Alicia Janetta Johnson, who was 49 years old, allegedly served as a ringleader in the prostitution ring. So I guess she was either a pimp or a madam. I know we all heard about the D.C. madam. And apparently this Alicia Johnson was at the head of this. Johnson, it continues who served as an executive assistant to the president of Fort Valley State University, was a graduate advisor to the Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority, allegedly performed sex acts in exchange for money and helped to, and helped to provide prostitutes to prominent men in the college community located south of Atlanta. She has since been charged with six counts of prostitution, three counts of pimping, and two counts of solicitation of sodomy. Six men were also indicted on one count each of solicitation of sodomy. So basically, six dudes were charged with solicitation of sodomy. I don't know why they wouldn't be charged with solicitation of prostitution. Maybe that's sort of a lesser charge. But basically, hey, you know, I want to butt fuck you. How much do you charge <laughs> is, is, pretty much, is pretty much the size of it. It continues, Johnson faces a maximum, a maximum of up to 12 months in prison and up to a $1,000 fine per count. The six men who were indicted were Ernest Harvey, Kenneth Howard, Ryan Jenkins, Charles Jones, Arthur James Nance Jr., and Devontae Little. You see their ages range from 26 all the way to 57 years old. So regardless regardless of age, it appears, niggas trying to get it in no matter what. Now, <clears throat> what's interesting about this particular article, I'm just going to make a few points about the article. And then I'm going to talk about the real reasons women don't want prostitution legalized. And again, if you, if you want to chime in on this, 914-205-5356. That's 914-205-5356. If you are outside of the U.S., it's 001-904-914-205-5356. If you want to call in and chime in on this. Now, notice they didn't mention the girls who were prostitutes, Right? There's mention of Alicia Johnson. There's mention of the six men charged with one with, uh, looks like they all got charged with one count of solicitation of sodomy. 
solicitation of butt fucking, but there's no, and, and again, I don't, I, I, this isn't, this is an article on a website. I haven't looked at the AJC Atlanta journal constitution article, but there's no mention of the females who were actually the sex workers, the females who were selling their asses. What's happening here, gentlemen, is they are using rape shield laws in this particular case, at least for this particular article. Now, what are rape shield laws? Rape shield laws are as follows. The long and the short of it is that if a woman accuses a man of rape, she doesn't get her name put out there. Her name does not become public. So a female can accuse a man of rape, falsely or otherwise. His name is all, his name is drugged through the mud. Meanwhile, her name doesn't get made public. Unless, of course, it turns out that the rape accusation was false. And a lot of times, those names never really see the light. So they protect the accused... Right Or they, they protect the accuser even if the accuser is lying about the accused. So if you're accused of rape, your name is put out there. But rape shield laws prohibits, I guess, public re- you know, prohibits the name of the, of the accuser to be put out there. I guess they don't want her to be subjected to slut shaming, et cetera, et cetera. But again, what about the girls charged with the prostitution? Right? Prostitution is illegal in the state of Georgia last I checked. So why weren't they charged? And if they were, why wasn't this in the article? Nope. Only the facilitators and the participators were charged. Not the actual females who willingly sold their asses, literally their asses, because they were taking taking it in the ass, apparently, which is illegal. Shout out to Dialer String with the $5 Super Chat. Appreciate that. If you want to contribute to the show... You can either donate via Super Chat or you can do so through the Donovan Sharp Streamlabs link, www.donovansharp.com forward slash Donovan, I'm sorry, www.streamlabs.com forward uh, slash Donovan Sharp and the number one. That is streamlabs.com slash Donovan Sharp and the number one. 100% of your contributions come directly to the towers. YouTube wisely takes 30% off the top. Listen, I don't have a problem with that. If you want to donate via Super Chat, I got no problem. If you want more more of your money to come to the show, the Streamlabs link is the best way to do it. So now this ventures into another topic that I've talked about briefly in the past. And those are the real reasons that prostitution is illegal. Shout out to Rolo Tomasi, who is in the house. Uh, Rolo, no, give me, Rolo, give me about another 40 minutes and then I'll open up the link. Uh, I'll open up the uh, the hangout and then you and I can go back and forth. Got a couple of segments to do here. Um, and then, uh, and then I'll be joined by Rolo Tomasi. Rolo Tomasi, shout out to him. Now, I'll go ahead and start it off by talking about this. Sex trafficking, gentlemen, it is a huge problem throughout the world. That's no secret. We all know it's prevalent, and it's been prevalent for quite a while. But what the feminist media and the feminist agenda are doing very cleverly is tying in human trafficking with women who work in the sex trade, who, with women who willingly work in the sex trade. Gentlemen, there's a huge difference between being kidnapped, taken to another country, and becoming a prostitute by force, and being in the sex trade by choice, right? Listen, strippers, call girls, escorts, prostitutes, etc., they're all in the, most of them in this country, and around the world for that matter, are in the business because they chose to be. Yes, there are some females who are forced into sex work. This is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about females who are willingly sex workers. Becoming a stripper or a prostitute because you can't pay your bills, that's not being forced into the sex trade. You chose that because you wanted to make money. Just like nobody is forced to work at McDonald's. You gotta pay the bills, you need a job, you do what you have to do. But the reason why the narrative of women being forced into the sex trade is so prevalent among the gynocentric media is because women want to stigmatize prostitution. Think about what's just happened. The Robert Kraft situation. He's facing charges. Eugene Robinson, way back in Super Bowl 34. He still he still lives with that cloud over his head. After Super Bowl 34, then Atlanta Falcons, I think he was a safety. He solicited prostitution in the city of Atlanta after the Super Bowl. He is infamous now for that. Females don't want prostitution to be legalized. And they use every reason under the sun to justify their opposition to it. So... I'm going to give you guys four very good reasons why females really don't want prostitution to be legalized that they would never admit out loud or to themselves. Number one, 
it depreciates the value of their vaginas. Guys, listen, man. Women know that's what men want. They know the reason we deal with them in the first place is because we want to fuck them because they have vaginas. But they, but they like to pretend otherwise. Well, guess what? This economy, this capitalistic economy and the economy around the world is all based on one very simple principle, supply and demand. The more of something is available, the less valuable it becomes. Simple math. Well, guess what? More pussy means less value. And listen, e- prostitution is illegal anyway, but pussy is still as cheap as it's ever been, right? Because women are giving away their vaginas. They're giving away, they're having sex with men for less and less. A couple of pickup lines, maybe a shot of tequila or two, and boom, the panties come off. Pussy is cheap. But if you legalize prostitution, pussy becomes even, dude, pussy hits the floor. We're talking Black Friday. Tuesday, October 29th. I think it's Tuesday, October 29th, 1929. I'm probably getting that date wrong. Okay? And think of it this way. If prostitution were legal, men would ask themselves, why put up with bitchy women and jump through hoops, spend money, and still not get laid? In a man's mind, listen, it's just easier to pay the money and fuck and be done with it. So the number one reason females are opposed to prostitution is because it depreciates the value of of vagina and vagina unfortunately for women that is the only that's the only commodity they really have youth and beauty well youth and beauty are tied into the vagina if you listen if you are old and you are ugly we don't want your vagina if you are young and beautiful or somewhere in between fuckable we want the vagina well if more easy payable vagina is available to men without having to put up with all the nonsense that men have to put up with to get laid Pussy stock goes down. NASDAQ sign PSY. PSY, PSSY, I don't know. Number two. Number two. The second reason why females do not want prostitution to be legalized is it forces women to be feminine. Women are bitches. They act terribly. They act like men. They burp, they fart, they swear, they drink until they can't stand up. And they still get plenty of dick, guys. They still get money. They still get resources. Men wouldn't put up with that nonsense if prostitution were legal and women know this. Women are more feminine when they know that men have options. Take any given relationship, right? This is what we call dread game in the manosphere. If you give, if your woman gets the, and this is active or passive dread, the minute your woman knows and understands very clearly that you have options other than her, the minute she knows that you can go off and fuck another woman, that's the day that she becomes more feminine. If a female thinks you're on her way out the door, she's not going to become become more masculine. She's not going to get bitchy. She's going to suck your dick. She's she's going to dress nice. She's going to be feminine. She's going to be different. She's going to be kind. She'll be feminine. If prostitution were legalized, women would have to look, act, and dress like women. Let's go directly to the sex trade. Let, let's take hookers, for example. You ever seen a hooker dressed like a man? Hmm? You ever seen a hooker in sweats? Ever seen a prostitute walk in her, walk in her corner in, I don't know, flip-flops and blue jeans? No. Why? Because prostitutes, hookers know that men want feminine women. Even if they have to pay for it, men want feminine women. So prostitutes act like feminine women. Legalized prostitution would force women to act like women. But females don't want to change. They don't want to do things like losing weight. They don't want to do things like not being a bitch. Men should be attracted to plus-size girls rather than actually getting your ass in the gym and losing weight. So the second reason why females do not want prostitution to be legalized is it forces them to be feminine, forces them to look, act, dress, smell like women. The third reason, number three, ooh, I put up two. The third reason... The third reason women do not want prostitution to be legalized is that it forces females to develop themselves outside of sexual hurt, sexual attraction. Remember what I said earlier. The one, <clears throat> unfortunately for women, their vaginas are basically the only commodity they have. There's nothing else good about them. Today's women, today's Western females, good for nothing but sex. If prostitution were legalized, it would force them to, if they want male attention, it would force them to develop themselves outside of sex. Females who can't cook, 
sew, do laundry, or even hold a conversation because of their phones, they're going to be left out in the cold. But that's not how it is. Females get handed everything, everything simply for existing, regardless of how they act, bitchy or otherwise. They know that all they're good for is fucking. Now, if you have some useful traits here and there, but by and large, women are good for one thing and one thing only, and they know it. Gentlemen, it's easy to be a slut, but it is hard to be a woman of quality. And if prostitution were legal, the jig is up. No more getting dick for nothing. <laughs> no more getting commitment just for having a set of tits and a vagina. No more men fawning over them for, you know, j- just because you posted a picture on Facebook. Oh, no, 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 no. Legalized prostitution would make females actually have to work for male attention. And they don't want to have to do that. They want to be able to take selfies and watch the dick roll in. They want to be able to put up a profile picture, get all kinds of offers. And in a female's mind, you think of it on their end. Of course they don't want prostitution to be legalized. Why, Why should they work for something that they've already been getting for free? Number four, the fourth and final reason that I will point out that women do not want prostitution to be legalized is it levels the playing field. There are always more dudes who want to fuck women than women who want to fuck dudes. I'm not going to get into a debate about who has the higher sex drive and this and that and the other. Listen, we as dudes, we're always trying to fuck. I'm 41 years old. I'm always trying to fuck. Dude, listen, I'm on TRT. But even even, even though I'm on TRT, I don't have the sex drive I did back when I was 18, 19, 20 years old. Guess what? I'm still trying to fuck all the time. And because of this, men have to be more attractive to women to get sex from women. But women don't have to be as attractive. They just have to be there. Think of it this way, guys. Female fours and fives get exponentially more sex than male fours and fives. If at all. Dude, male fours and fives? Threes, fours, and fives, maybe? I don't even think those guys get pussy. Not nowadays. Female threes, fours, and fives? They get dick, guys. Guys, listen. And listen, I know we can bitch and moan, but don't complain, man. This is how it is. Even if feminism never existed, think of it this way. Even if feminism never existed and all females were quality women, they would still be more selective than we are. It's just a matter of biology. There's more at stake for females when it comes to sexual intercourse. There's far less at stake for men. Females have to carry the baby for nine for nine months. It ruins their body. They're going through all sorts of hormonal changes, Right. They, you know, they, they gain weight. Their vaginas are, 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 are loosened when they have the kid. They got to do kegels and all that. That's a lot to invest. And then you got to look after the little fucker for 18 months or for eight. Then you got to look after the little fucker for 18 years. And oh, by the way, the first year and a half, two years, they can't walk. They can't talk. They can't speak English. All they do is cry, eat and shit. And she gets maybe two and a half, three hours of sleep per night. If she's lucky, if she's blessed with a good kid, this is why females are more selective than men when it comes to sex. Men, we don't have to be selective. All we do is bust the nut in her. We can walk off and go impregnate somebody else. We don't go through bodily changes. We don't have those those hormonal changes. Listen, we can reproduce till the day we die. This is why we are, this is why females are infinitely more selective than men. It's biology. But getting back to prostitution, if it were legalized, it would effectively level the playing field, guys. No more sausage fests at bars and clubs. Honestly, you go to any given bar or club or meetup or whatever, it's probably a two to one to a three to one, maybe even a four or five to one anywhere you go. Three to one, three bitches to one dude. If prostitution were legal, that number would drop to one to one and maybe even one to two because dudes number two and three are paying for hookers. They're not trying to go to a bar or a nightclub and shout at a girl over all the blaring music, buy her $17 apple teeny, and hope she laps up the game enough to maybe want to look at your dick. No, 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 no. They say, fuck it. If I'm going to spend 50 bucks on drinks, shit, I may as well go the whole nine and spend, what, two, 300 bucks? Get the guaranteed pussy. Can't blame them. Females know that they have a statistical advantage in the sexual marketplace, and they know that legalized prostitution would literally eliminate that advantage. It would flip that advantage on its head. This is why they don't want prostitution to be legalized. Gentlemen, do not get it twisted. This is why. They like the advantage they have, and they exploit it. Why do they exploit it? They exploit it to ride the carousel. They don't want to work for anything they don't have. They don't want to work for something they already get for free. So at the end of the day, 
Females can talk about morals and ethics. Oh, you know, she was forced to be a stripper and that poor... Pro no, 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 no. They can, talk about all, they can talk about that all they want to. But we all know why. We in the sphere, men in the know, men who understand real female nature, nature we know why females really don't want to legalize prostitution. Legalized prostitution decreases their value as women if all they bring to the table is vagina. No easy dick, no orbiters, no white knights, no resources from men. Guess what? They can go fuck the government. If they, I mean, Listen, it, I mean, that's really what it is. Government is the new beta bucks. You legalize prostitution, that goes away too. No more. Listen, no more free handouts. Who's going to impregnate these bitches if, if, if dudes can just go out and pay for pussy? Women love having a decided advantage in the sexual marketplace without having to do anything except for breathe and have a vagina. Gentlemen, they are not about to give that up. This is why females do not want prostitution to be legalized. That is all there is to it.